Hello everybody, welcome to this video number 17 related to RQDA software and we'll see how to create code categories uh, on this software. So let's open RQDA here and as you can see here I've opened uh, a small files uh, in which I have uh, four codes and as you can see the codes are Facebook, uh, Divorced, Facebook, Married and Twitter and obviously we can see that you can put it in some categories. So, how to do it? You just go to you just go to to code categories, and then you press on add. And I will just uh, write uh, O1. And as I said, uh, Facebook and Twitter can be linked together in social network. Uh, okay. And divorced and uh, married can go on the code number. Uh, two uh, who can be called uh, let's say uh, marital stature I don't know if I'm writing it good but anyway you, you know the idea uh, why I'm writing some numbers this is just to recognize to make the distinction between the codes that do not have any numbers at the beginning and the code categories do have some numbers so I can make a distinction but this is actually optional it's just my way of doing so you will see that it can be nice on the next video when I will uh, generate a plot but um, why not I, I like to do it like this and now uh, you can see that uh, the this is a code categories but there is no codes in these categories to add some codes there is many way but the first the easiest one is just to add two and here you've got a, a window who opens and say which one you want to add to so i just maintain control and click on facebook too click on ok and now i'm just uh, going here and adding two and choosing our divorced and married and click on OK. And what is actually uh, possible is to add a uh, many code uh, in different uh, in different code categories. For instance, I can put Facebook on marital statue. This is, has absolutely nonsense for sure. But for some uh, cases when you will have a lot of codes, uh, maybe it will have some sense to put. Uh, the, the codes in uh, in different uh, code categories you will see by yourself uh, it depends on your work but that's highly possible so that's why uh, this is a possibility so I will just add Facebook here and I see that social network I've got Facebook and Twitter marital marital statue I've got uh, Facebook on here but let's suppose that this is not what I wanted to to have so if I want to 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 remove it I I mean to remove only their Facebook I have to care about I don't need uh, I absolutely shouldn't press on delete because if I press on delete this will delete all the marital statue uh, categories it will not delete uh, everything that was into marital statue in the codes for sure but it will delete these categories so just be careful if you want to remove only one code which is belonging in one code category such as Facebook you just go to drop from and then they say are you sure you want to delete I say yes I'm sure okay so that's how you do the stuff uh, for sure uh, if you do delete this will delete a code category so let's do an example I will just create a new one first add and I will say test okay and in test I will add uh, let's say everything okay and now I'm just deleting it so if I delete it I click on delete they say are you sure you want to delete they say yes and here you see that I still have Facebook everything though the code doesn't disappear but the code category disappear so that's why you can use delete a rename is just to rename the name of the code category so if you're not happy with this you can rename it for sure after you can do memos so once again when you open you see that is the memo related to marital statue to the code category marital statue so I just write this is a memo of the uh, code category marital statue and then I save the memo and let's open the memo and you see that it's working nice so once again uh, you've got a memo for almost everything for project for files for codes for code category for case for attributes for almost everything so do not mistake and if you do a memo be sure that this is related the memo only to the marital statue 
and after uh, you've got uh, two more buttons which is mark and unmark so basically uh, if I open uh, let's say if I open a file uh, no I will open another one the first file okay I open this file and if I want to add let's say this one to uh, to diverse this this part of the text to let's say I want to add it to diverse before I was going to the code this was how I was doing before so I was going here and I was clicking on mark but after when you will be on a big work a big project you will have a lot and a lot of codes and it will be difficult to find them so that's why you can do the same stuff you just find uh, the categories and then you just choose uh, the codes which is belonging to the category so if I want to, to use diverse I go in here I select this one then I have diverse and I click on mark and I see that I can do the same stuff on codes or code categories I can mark them uh, on both ways so I will just try to do that I will let's say that this one belongs to Facebook so just go here and then just click on Facebook and then click on mark and for sure if I'm not happy I'm just clicking here and clicking on unmark and uh, this should also work like this so yeah this is working so you can do exactly the same stuff and for my own uh, work uh, as I have every time a lot of codes I almost not using um, I mean at the end if I if, I, if, if I've got categories if I, if I made all the categories after, if I still need to cut something, I will go straight uh, to this menu because it's easier to, to find the cards. But this is just my own opinion, so so do the way you, you think about. Uh, after, you can just, uh, once again, if you click with the right uh, bottom of your mouse, you can uh, add new code to selected categories. You can see the memo of uh, the underlined uh, categories and uh, you can plot the category so this is very uh, interesting we'll see how to do it on the next uh, video and after we can sort by the created time and uh, after uh, for sure you can uh, do uh, other you can have other option on the on on the on this menu under here so i invite you to check uh, everything in order to be able to understand uh, how it's working Okay, so I just wanted to show you one more thing about. I will just open another folder to make you understand uh, why I'm doing everything. Because look at that. I will just close uh, this uh, this one, close project, and I will just open a new project which is uh, located uh, here. Okay, and now you can see that here I have so much codes that it makes a lot of sense to make code categories because here it's very difficult to get organized to find the codes and here you can get the codes very easily in a much more organized way uh, okay so i will invite you to check the next video to see how to use this famous uh, plot selected code categories uh, option thanks a lot for watching this video Cheers.